Okay, so I think it was maybe 2006, 2007, Jeff Glover, No Gi World, um, had a beautiful fight. What he was doing was fighting like he wanted a low single. <clears throat> when I come low like this, especially if the low single's in my arsenal, it puts a lot of pressure on my partner. Because if Stefan stays high, he knows this is open. Okay? That's true of regular wrestling. If I come here and he doesn't follow, here, I mean, he's giving me my shot. He always must maintain head position, head level, so that he's not open to a shot. So what we're doing, like, in a boxing match, you kind of set the person up, you, you observe their patterns, you train them to respond to a certain thing, and then you surprise them. So what he did, so beautiful, so he was moving around, boom, came low, boom, came low. Boom. Find you. They come low. Or they trade come low. They come here. Okay. So now our footlock comes in handy. Elbows forward, come up here, and that's before our celotines. That's before the magic detail. Tammy's elbow. So we're here. Now when I come here, so we're here, then here. I'm going to reinforce like this, here. So it's not, I'm going to lift them by the neck, gently, but it won't be my strength, it'll be my hip. This is the point, that now this frame, this solid object is supported by my hip strength. So we're here, we get this, elbow comes high. I have some nice details for long limb people, but this is, sorry, sorry. And if, so Stefan is defending for kind of his safety, but also he's defending well. He's dropping his hands to my thighs. That's making it harder for me to go up. If this is a challenge, we have a few different options. You don't need to be long-limbed for this, but it certainly helps. If you go elbow pointed to the side, you'll have a pretty tight guillotine. If you go like a reverse rear naked choke, elbow pointed to the ground, this hand in this position doesn't have a lot of strength. But if it switches to this position, if you guys remember one of the ultimate fighters, the Cody team, McKenzie. Cody McKenzie? Yeah. yeah. Um, he does this, and then one of my students follows it up. So he comes here, instead of Marcelo team, he goes straight here and then powers through to a power guillotine right here. Okay, so. Set up one more time. We're here. Boom. Boom. So I'm leaping the back hand, which is the only one that should be reaching in general, grabs his head on the way in, and same principle as with the footlock. If the armpit is closed, there's not a lot of space for him. If I open that up, I can get deeper. Boom. Now, we're here, here, and here. Or we go, how do I get my elbow that deep? Look at my shoulder. I dive on it. Bad news. Really bad news. Super yeah. powerful, right? So, one more time. We're here. I lower and I watch. I lower and I watch. I lower, no. I take it. You need to, you can't, in training, you'll, you'll, you'll miss the moment, that's fine but you need to go as they're coming down. Elbows, uppercut, boom. You can always just come back and finish like it was a footlock. But one of my coaches, Dennis, brutal with this. Boom, or slice it through like you would a rear naked choke. Bad news. And this is before we pull guard or anything like that to reinforce it. Anyone need to see it again? I see it with Dennis, definitely. Was that separate? Oh, it's just the armwork? Thank okay. you, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here, not here, here. I come up. Now, these fingers, if they stay hooking my hand, I can't make that rotation. So they just relax. So I come here. Then that crazy pressure was here. So it was this super frame. 
than if I needed, so there are a few different ways to finish. If for whatever reason that wasn't tapping him, either he was defending or uh, my height wasn't sufficient relative to his, then I just come back here and I finish it like it's a footlock here. That's option one. Option two is, for whatever reason, I'm not feeling this version, we dunk. Look at the rotation of my chest here. Now my elbow's pointed down. Push in, so we switch from this grip on my right hand to this grip here to this grip here. And every, the rear naked, anytime we have this grip and we're trying to choke something in there, it's just about closing that space. So I like to bring my elbows together to do so. Let's do it on two, one, two. Two, one, two. Here. 